first like to kind of make the foil edges sort of disappear. And then kind of work it. There's something really satisfying about the malleability. It's so light. Several years ago, I realized I was getting a lot of spam and started paying attention to the subject lines in the spam. Historically in my work, I've used the bits and pieces of life that I think people tend to ignore, forget about, delete, particularly with spam. It's this sort of daily annoyance, it's the, it's the title junk, it's the byproduct of our lives, and most of us just push a button and delete it. I'm drawn to bringing them back in a way so that we can think about them differently. I think every artist hopes to transform meaning, and I think I'm using language, the language of consumerism, in a very fluid manner in which to say what I need to say. It's very unforgiving. Once you've made it go in a direction, you can't really reverse it, which is unlike a lot of my sculpture. I happened to be in the kitchen when I came up with the idea to use tin foil because it was at hand. And so I started crushing and forming these letters to create one of the subject lines. And those became sculptures that are hung on a wall, uh, usually a colored wall. So it seemed like a natural transition when this project came up to take them off of the colored wall and put them onto the facade with the color behind them. So these are actually the pieces from the facade. What do you really want? On the Gartner Museum, it's been mediated. First it came in as computer spam, then it became a sculpture that I made out of tinfoil, then it became photographed and then put in front of the Bardini blue, Isabella Stewart Gardner's color. She sent many letters requesting the exact tint of the Bardini blue from the Bardini gallery. And I also chose blue because I wanted the piece to reach out past the walls of the outside of the museum and into the sky. I think that using text and asking a question is a way of engaging the public. One reason that I make art is that I really want to communicate something with someone. I want to say, hey, this is how I see the world. Maybe you see it that way too. The phrase, what do you really want, is very open, and I think that whoever comes to it will bring their own bearing to it. It could be a deeply political, comment. And for someone else, it could be as simple as, I want a sandwich. <laughs> <laughs>